Uh, anyway, we got a little thing here because it's uh, Halloween. We're going to go through a few pictures here. Uh, Steph and I have shared my screen. Yes, I'll put it up. This is right something here. we call fucking funny pumpkins. <laughs> All right. Now, nobody knows what I picked. <laughs> but it's, it's pumpkins. It's pumpkins. How bad it's pumpkins. Be, How right? bad could pumpkins be? Naughty pumpkins. Oh, God. Like, this isn't that bad, is it? Oh, my God. <laughs> I like that one. That's cute. This is very humanistic. Where did you get this? Pumpkin hub? <laughs> <laughs> the thing that bothers me is you shouldn't have that much light coming out. Um, <laughs> all right. If we didn't like that one, how about this beautiful? I love this thing when people do this with it. <laughs> oh, that's uh, using the pumpkin guts for throw up or for guts is always a beautiful thing. I love how he's got the super drunk one off to the up on the top <laughs> too. <laughs> was like, no. That was, was yeah. my, most of my Halloweens in my early twenties. That is a perfect <laughs> rendition of exactly what it was. Yep, Thank you same to Jack here. and Coke. <laughs> I think you and I have the same twenties there. Um, <laughs> almost, except uh, you know. I still looked like this. Um, so, and let's see this next one. I like the creativity of this next one. Oh, <laughs> so disgusting. You know what's weird about this that bugs me about this is you would think that they'd use the bottom part of the pumpkin for the cat asshole, right? Because it looks That's kind funny. of like it. They actually had to do something here. Is that like a cigar burn? or? I was trying to figure out what just happened. Like, or, uh... or it's a growth of some sort. Maybe it was started to rot. I don't know. Well... Yeah. It I don't know. Has fleas too at the corner of the know. tail, but it's great carving work. Yeah, they did a good job. And and the thing <laughs> is, is, like I would mess up the tail because what happens to me every time I'm carving, like you know that very end part of the tail, that's the part that accidentally breaks off while you're carving. Then I go fuck this and I throw the pumpkin out the window. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I very good work on this uh, one here. You know, now the next one is beautiful. It it it's it's a lovely pumpkin. Oh boy! It's just all about love. <laughs> oh, oh God, I'm scared. Me too. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, so one of the hardest things I've ever had to draw uh, as a kid when I was getting to drawing that's was was a horse. This person carved a horse. Not only that, if you really look closely, the the place where the light is coming through is where they shave it down so much that it's still solid but the light comes through. Someone was able to carve a horse around that stuff. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with this. And if they if this happened there's more often... There's nothing wrong with this? No, if, they, if, we, if this happened more often, we'd have unicorns today. I'm afraid to okay? look at your pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've heard that outside of Halloween. Um, uh, oh, oh, Sergio, Sergio has a good comment. Sergio has a good comment. There romantic. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> You want the yeah. unicorns back, this has to happen. My daughter so, would love unicorns. Yeah, you know, the sad part, it's probably somebody made this with a theme of magical. It went <laughs> all out. <laughs> it is they they did a great job. Okay, now I'm a fan of Calvin Hobbes. I oh, don't know if anybody oh, else wait. is. Oh, Ronnie said, Poor Dana, I, we love you. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Well, procreation is necessary, but I, here's the thing. I love Calvin and Hobbes. I love Calvin and Hobbes, so I'm oh. nervous now because I do not want you to... to, to... So <laughs> are you a fan, Dana, of Calvin and Hobbes snowmen? Um, uh... I don't think so. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, maybe not. Well, this reminds me of when Calvin used to make snowman uh -oh. that would upset his family in the yard. Uh, it's not too bad. I can live with that. Like, not too bad. like I, I don't, and I'm, I, in my mind, I cannot tie that to Calvin and Hobbes, but I'll, I'll leave, I'll leave it to you. But I think it's, I think it's, a, I think it's novel concepts because I don't know that ever in life I've ever seen, you know, I've never seen that before. That's right, right, right. All the pumpkins into it like that. You talk about cross holidays, like cross. You know, cross, <laughs> that could be Thanksgiving and Halloween. Right. So actually, I found I found about seven different renditions of this uh, when right. I was looking for these of people using pumpkin snowmen and actually making them killing other pumpkin snowmen. And oh. it reminded me, like Calvin. The reason why it reminded me of Calvin Hobbes is he used to do that thing where he'd have like on on his dad's car he would put the one snowman that was a, that looked like he got hit by the car and then the other snowman going oh no like around <laughs> it and everything and he, 
Or he, or that one where he made like a bunch of tiny little snowmen all around him, and you're wondering what he's going to do with them, and then you see his face turn to the side, and then it shows his imagination as he's Godzilla stomping on all the people. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> my, 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 like my thought goes, what makes somebody want to do something like this? Like, do they wake up after watching like a Netflix documentary on serial killers or? Like, what says, oh, I'm going to go ahead and carve out a pumpkin that's decapitating and skimming the face of another pumpkin. Like, what I inspires actually, this creativity? I think I can answer you. So, mm -hmm. I'm a dad who loved, who loved gory Halloween decorations. But at some point, your kids become three or four years old. You make your gory de decoration, and they don't want to walk down the hallway anymore. Right, and you realize you can't do that, but you can do something like this, and the kid goes, eh, "I get it, and it's not that scary anymore." Right. Um, Anthony Viriel is asking, "Why not?" Okay, so uh, just a quick story. <laughs> I love make. I, okay, Nora was only um, four years old, my youngest one, and I used to make dummies to put outside my house that would have like glowing eyes and stuff. And so I'd make them a few weeks a, a few weeks ahead, and I'd put them in an office, right? And it was funny. This one year, she kept coming up to me every day. She goes, Daddy, I want to go see it. And I'd open the door, and I'd go, see, it's still in the same place. It hasn't moved. She goes, okay, close the door now. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> she, she was just worried. She's like, I don't want... So, yeah, I mean, it. I waited till I was about to bring it out before I moved it in a totally different thing right in front of the door and then showed her. No, just kidding. I didn't do that to her. That and see, don't get me wrong. Okay, don't get me wrong. I think this is incredible. Like, I love disgusting shit like this, but I'm like a psychopath. But well, where is <laughs> if your kid starts doing stuff like this? Like, how young is it where you think your kid might be a future serial killer? Where is that concern? Like, only if, if they're hurting helpless little animals. Yeah, there's a difference between drawing a dead animal. And making a dead animal. There's your line. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Yeah. If you notice your child is uh, hurting animals uh, little by little and then it escalates, that yeah, you need to be worried then. Right. Yeah. And by the way, oh, yeah. Stacy, you mentioned something a little while ago in one of our no, shows. No, no empathy, basically. Is what I was going to say, yeah, they, they're showing no empathy. None. Yeah, yeah you, you don't want to do that. I, I remember even as an adult, my one of my cats got a bird and she got it to the point where it wasn't going to make it. So I had to do the humane thing. That stuck in my head for two weeks. So <laughs> I'm glad I passed the I'm not psycho test, I guess. But damn, right. that sucked. My, oh, dad, like... um, my son, like, hated to see people kill bugs. Like, there was, I mean, and he was, like, a solid five and did not want people, like, he, you know, he, he understood, like, but he felt like if we were outside, like, and I'll never forget, he would play with a friend of mine's kids and they were outside and they just, all the kids took such glory in killing this bug. And my, Ali was crying. Like he thought it was, you know, he was very hurt about it. And so, you know, I mean, and, and he's not a softy now, but it's just, you know, there's, he just felt like it's outside. Like it's, it's not bothering us. And it just, he was very <laughs> surprised that all the kids were so insistent that this bug had to die when the bug hadn't, wasn't by, they just caught it and killed it. So, you know, so. Yeah. But this next one, this next one, Stacy, uh -oh. this is your fault. <laughs> uh oh, I'm nervous. Uh -oh. And Windows is scary. You mentioned you mentioned a horror movie that you thought you, you brought up, and She's Stefan, like, I think, enjoys. Oh god! And someone decided <laughs> to make a it. pumpkin about it. A lot of Don't build tell up. me what I think it is. Right, a lot of build up. Lot of build I knew up. it. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I know what it is. Centipede. Human centipede. Yeah, that's I a good word. Not, oh. not for everybody. But that, but that, that, that looks, that looks cute. It. That doesn't look as offensive as the actual artwork. So, <laughs> no, it does not. Because if you didn't tell anybody, they wouldn't have not known what that was, dude. I don't think they were able to do a lot of holes like that cat. Yeah. I'm sure they were trying, but. No, that's a hard thing to put on a pumpkin. I'm just going to say that. I'm going to give them props on this because, of course, they did it good enough for the minute you saw it, you knew what it was. <laughs> and the joke, was, me, the joke was done. I was, if you didn't tell me, I definitely wouldn't know. Oh, yeah, I would I, I knew wouldn't you know. would do it. You said a Ugh. horror movie, so it, it was in there somewhere, but then when you said what it was in, I was able to... I thought I was out of like, oh, they did... 
pumpkin graffiti? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Good. I still have not watched the Human Centipede. Oh, it's, it's one the of the first ones two I... are really good. The first two are really good. Third, uh, it's not the good. second one after watching the first one. I love horror movies. You're disgusting. That's not even horror. That's just. <laughs> Thank um, you. Thank you. By the way, Ronnie <laughs> says, put up Ronnie's last comment oh, okay. there. Yep. I got three pumpkins for this shit, so he put it across three pumpkins. <laughs> He's like, I'm, I'm doing some pumpkin ones. That movie go, gave a new meaning to what that mouth do. <laughs> you know, I thought you were going to say another phrase, you know. It's not It's not for everybody. I'm not going to pretend that it, it's, it's for, for everybody. It's not. It's a disgusting movie. <laughs> well, you, the the, th the thing with hum human beings is we're always trying to push the envelope. When somebody says not to do it, you know, it's like our parents. Our, your parents are like, "Don't do that," and you're like, "Oh, really?" What screenwriter? Well, I'm, ga I'm gonna, and, I'm gonna do it. What screenwriter said, "Huh? Let me well, make a movie about he's, having." He's or he's horror famous. He's not. I wouldn't say he's like Hollywood famous, but as far as underground horror famous, that dude, like that movie. When I went to horror conventions, that is one of the one of that's not the most talked about. There's one that if you think that's bad, there trust me. <laughs> there's ones that are way there are, worse. Okay, there are movies that are disgusting. <laughs> but I mean, who says, "Oh, the perfect form of tur torture and you're going to wish the characters all died instead?" You just want to be, be the this first movie about you, you just want to be the first one in the line. That's all I will say. <laughs> you don't want to be at the end, the middle. You just want to be the first. <laughs> I know it's a little early for Christmas, but one of my favorite decorations, just because it's funny, was the human centipede. I have that. So just I have think the of that one. <laughs> I have the postcard. I'll, I'll post it up for Christmas. Not on here, though. Not on here, though. <laughs> not on here. I, I have respect for it, but I will not post it on here. So, I mean, it goes back to, I think it, it's, it's one of the very few films where the protagonist would prefer to have a grimsley death than survive. I mean, there's very few <laughs> Dana's like, movies. what exact... No, you don't want to know. Dana, <laughs> Dana just, just read the synopsis and realize you were done at that, I think. And that's the okay. same thing with don't me. I read the synopsis and went, search. no, don't no. Well, okay, that, definitely not, definitely not. And, yeah. I, and tell me which one this is again. It's Sorry. called The Human Centipede. I just want to, okay, yeah. Like, yeah, the only centipede I ever wanted was, like, I used to like to play the arcade game. Very yeah, good. The, oh, yeah, that was my mom's favorite, actually. The arcade game? Yeah, they, oh it's, called, it's called... Uh, well, Stacy, you're uh, the youngest, so, you know. Called, yeah. was it like called? Snake? Again, I think it's just called Centipede. It was like called Snake? Like, <laughs> yeah, I think it's just called Centipede. Yeah, it was Centipede. That was it. Yeah, it, was just, it was, like, I mean, because yeah. I'm like, like, Oh my god, ten, ten, like the other game. I anyway, still don't know what Oregon Frogger. Trail is. Like, I just keep hearing Did you say about Oregon it. Trail? Did you yeah. say Oregon Trail? Not, uh -oh. or, not Oregon Trail, you said Oregon Trail. See, uh -oh. these you are the moments head. that make me laugh. You, you know where his head's going already. I mean, you don't even. Okay. Well,